Okay, now so we're going to start up the um, the oozing software, and it should automatically load my um, my setup, which uses five VSTs and um, a couple of VST effects. I'm using the free version. Um, it's limited, um, but it's fully functional. You can't edit sub patches and scripts or modify layouts, but it's very useful. I do plan on buying it. It'll take a few moments to load up um, the setup and uh, my VST instruments. Okay, now we're up and running. So um, I'll need to go here to turn on the audio engine. Um, and then we'll click the menu button down here. Bring it up full screen. Okay, and then we'll up here we'll enable my instruments. This touch screen is really cool. This program allows you to create your own customized touchscreen interface. So all these graphics come with the program. You choose um, which, which kind of button you want for each sound or for each control and then you completely customize it. <clears throat> the layout here it allows me to um, enable or disable particular VST instruments which saves on CP usage. Um, but I found with these five VSTs I've not had any pops or clicks whatsoever. Um, it's not a very powerful computer. It's an earlier Pentium 4, 3 gigahertz, 2 gigs of RAM, the regular hyper-threading CPU. I am using um, Audiophile uh, 2496 um, sound card from M Audio. <clears throat> I'm running at, uh, the buffers at 256, which makes my latency about five, 4 to 5 milliseconds. Um, these, these controls here, 3, A, and B, they represent, well, keyboard number 3 keyboard A and keyboard B. Well, you may ask yourself, why keyboard 3 and A and B? I started out with just two keyboards, A and B, and then I added the third keyboard on top, and I didn't want to reset everything for A or B, so I just called that keyboard 3, but it does represent where they're physically at, on top, in the middle, and on the bottom, the three tiers. Um, which I can enable any instrument that I want on either keyboard that I want. For example, right now, I've got the bottom keyboard set for Lounge Lizard. I've got the middle keyboard set for Native Instruments V4. And I've got the, the top keyboard set for uh, Pro 53 with a synth sound pulled up. So we can kind of demonstrate that now. difficult to play and film at the same time. There's my organ sound. Next up, I wanted to pull up the, or for example, I want to pull up the organ VST instrument itself. I can easily pull it up here. Um, uh, this instrument is very, very nice because there's great big buttons I can easily hit with my finger for the touch screen. But of course, um, my uh, controller here controls my uh, the draw bars there and so forth um, which allows me to adjust my organ sound in real time the Leslie sound down there and turn the Leslie speed slow and fast Native Instruments software it's really great Hammond organ sound um, you see now uh, that the lounge lizard is set up on the um, the bottom keyboard, nice electric piano sound. And I've set up my favorite controls for turning on the tremolo effect. And I've also set up a phaser so I can easily turn the phaser on and off. And of course, um, I can adjust the sound if I need to how loud it is. I'm um, like, well, the next song I need, say for example, 
the uh, piano on the bottom. And I want the synthesizer on the middle one. They put the organ up on top, easily. Now the organ's on top, synthesizer in the middle, acoustic piano on the bottom. Um, let's see, I'm also using um, a clav sound. We put the, I'll put, easily grab it and put it on top. I'm using the wah effect down here. The wah effect is being produced by guitar rig. So I run the audio from, from the clav instrument into guitar rig and then set up the MIDI to control my wah effect. So it gives me five really classic sounds. I have acoustic and electric pianos, organ, synthesizer, clavinet. I can easily, easily transpose um, a couple songs that are in diff difficult keys. Uh, you can transpose them easily. This transposes all the instruments at once. So for example, if I want the key of A to be played on the, in the position C on the keyboard, that's easily done enough. I try to avoid doing that, but there are a couple difficult keys and I'm still working on scales and stuff in. So we can set that back to normal. Back, back to normal. I've also set up here on the grand where I can easily transpose an, a full octave down or up because I'm using 61 key um, keyboard for the, my acoustic piano sounds. It's nice to be able to drop it all the way down. Or bring it all the way up to the top. Put it back in the middle. Um, what else is cool about this is you can create as much virtual space as you need to. I don't need a whole lot for this live setup. I don't do any recording or anything. It's just for this for a live stage. I have presets here for set up for the organ sound. I can easily pan through those and choose new organ sounds. Put the organ back up over here. Put it up on top this time. And then switch the sounds easily there. So I have my favorite um, piano uh, organ presets set here. So I can change those. Oops, I need to have that on the middle keyboard for that. That's something I can fix because I, I, I wasn't had the right MIDI input selected, so. And I can switch the sounds here. Um, let's see, what else? You may ask, what, what's this box with the little circle in it that I can drag around with my finger? This controls an effect on the Pro 53 instrument. Let me pull that back up and let you see. Um, I've got this um, XY box pulled up to control the cutoff. Um, see so if you can see that actually happen in there. Cut off in, uh, in the resonance for that. So as I move this across the XY axis, it chain one of these controls, up and down control one axis and left and right controls the other axis and if you can I can't really hold the camera and do this at the same time so I'll sit down on the camera for a second just so you can hear what those changes are like I guess I could do this. We could put this on the bottom keyboard where I have sustain pedal enabled. So now I can hold the synth sound. 